hello guys uh, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use the attendance application yeah the attendance app uh, this was created a couple of hours ago right it was just uh, a quick development it has some bugs that will be fixed over time right yeah so but it's it's working optimally for now and uh, we can actually start using it to uh, punch in and punch out uh, for attendance right so yeah this is basically just uh, to help ensure that everyone takes this uh, training very seriously yeah so don't worry we are going to still be flexible with it if you are uh, can't attend the classes at the required time I will tell you what to do like on the same day right yeah so the idea is you need to attend uh, classes every day it might not be at the time that it is fixed right but you still need to attend the classes because uh, most of the live classes will be recorded and made available on YouTube right so um, the links will be you know published here on the application but now the thing is this we don't want you to just go ahead and go to YouTube directly and just watch it we want you to come to the application and click the button from here to actually go uh, to YouTube to watch the video and you know practice right like that we will be able to know who and who watched the video and who and who actually participated in the training or not right so uh, it's flexible okay so it's not like uh, very strict and all of that all right so that being said uh, this is the this is how it looks like so you have here I'm just going to sign into an existing no code an existing account that I created here all right so um, if you observe I'm using like two different browsers this is brave browser and then this is Chrome so I'll sign in here and then you will see what we have here so when you sign in uh, this is an existing account so I have um, welcome no code Africa HQ and then I have no projects I've not created any projects right so you can actually get to um, the very first thing before we go to this thing the very first thing you should do when you've created an account is come to settings and then uh, click type your your name here maybe your first name and your last name click on the the button here you know you click on it it to bring you to your uh, browser your gallery if at all you're using your phone to do this all right it's to bring you up there then you open upload it and then after that you click on update settings right so you update settings and everything will appear like the way it is right now so I'm gonna show you how your account will look like if at all you're not uh, you've not updated your settings so you won't be shocked if you see some things looking strange okay so that being said let me try to sign up here on this account I will say uh, okay so I am gonna be using this all right so this is it I'm just gonna click on create account it's going to create a new account for me and this is how it looks like when you're creating a new account right so it doesn't show you uh, it doesn't welcome you with your name right so it just it has this widget that comes you know almost blank like brown or ash I don't know what color that is <laughs> okay so um, uh, then if you click on the settings icon so the very first thing you should do is after you've seen this you should click the settings icon you then still have this you know grayish color here so don't bother yourself about that all you just need to do is type your name uh, all right and then upload a picture of yourself click here to tap it works on both your phone and on your system but I'm using my system but I have to resize my screen to mobile view so it doesn't look all messy because it doesn't design for um, for the web I'm just publishing it with something called web publishing which I will show you guys all right so with this now you can go ahead and update your settings right? you can click here to update your settings when you update your settings it shows the image you uploaded your name and then the email right it shows everything here your your logout icon equally shows and then if you come back to the dashboard here you see your name so welcome David Rog okay so that's is how the application is for now we will upgrade it as we go okay so the main essence of this application is uh, you'll be using it to create projects. So uh, one of the first projects that we're going to do is we're going to rebuild this attendance app. All right, so we'll rebuild this attendance app. Uh, let's say we have a deadline. Uh, let's say 10th. 
match 2023 all right so you create project so it says your new project created so uh if you come here you see the attendance app right so this is the deadline okay so um now uh the main essence of this application is for you to sign in and sign out so for you to sign in you have to click on this button here and then go to the the very first week we're using Flutterflow. we're going to be learning Flutterflow. the second week we'll learn bubble the third week we'll, we'll learn advanced features in bubble and Flutterflow. so just click on Flutterflow, and then you see upcoming lessons you can click on monday you can click on tuesday wednesday thursday friday and all that so if you click on let's say for tuesday for instance you will see there will be an image here so i will update this image with with time so you see today you will learn how to create a to-do list app using Flutterflow. then you can join the class now when it's time for the class you have to click on join the class and then when the class ends you have to come back to the application and click on end classes now right now when that happens we're going to have an attendance log here like some things will appear here that will show when you clicked on class started and class ended that's how we will know who joined the class at the beginning or joined the class within the the class attendance time or we will also know how long you spent on on on, on going through the tutorial to understand what we're teaching you right so that's like the whole essence of this we just want to be able to monitor those who are following and the ones that are not following we try to see how we can assist them and also we don't want you to take this for granted right that's one of the reasons why we are doing this uh, at some point if at all you're not taking it really serious some people will be uh, made to leave the the cohort right so that's like it so if you miss classes too much you're not paying attention you're not doing your projects then um it, it's more like uh not making sense because uh we are actually doing this because we want you to be able to learn and in as much as it is free you need to still help us to achieve our own goal which is to ensure that at the end of the training we have like uh well-trained um you know no coders right so that's it. So let's say, let's go for Tuesday and then click on join classes now. Now it takes you to uh, Google Meet, right? As, you, as you've seen. And then let's say, um, let's say after a while, when we finish the tutorial, be it one hour or two hours, you come back and you click on end classes now. It will show you here class ended, right? So you can now come back and then click on attendance logs and it will show you. So this was when you started the class. This was when you ended the class, right? So um, this gives you an idea. This gives us an idea of when you punched in and punched out. It's going to help us understand who is following the training and who isn't. And that's just one of the things that we're going to be doing to ensure that everyone follows. Okay, so uh, that is it. And uh, what else? I think that is all for now. So I believe that I have uh, gone through this application adequately. Yeah, so that is it. So you can click here to log out and that's it. You can change your profile anytime you want. Okay, thank you very much for checking this out and see you in tomorrow's class.